Hello everyone, welcome to this update video. I trust and hope you're having a really amazing day today. And happy Independence Day to my fellow Jamaicans. 63 years of independence. And in terms of the tropics, we'll be talking about these three areas here that we are seeing on the National Hurricane Center's outlook. We have two disturbances, one designated an invest as well as tropical storm Dexter. We're not going to be talking much about Dexter because it's not a problem for anyone. But there's a fourth area that I want to talk about. Uh, the models have pretty much been getting a little bit consistent. We're seeing a little bit of a consensus in terms of seeing a tropical wave to come off of Africa attempt to develop on its way maybe to the Caribbean, in the Caribbean, just north of the Caribbean. There are quite a few possibilities, but models have slowly been hinting at an area which could be one to watch over the course of the next week, uh, two weeks thereabouts. So let's get into the details. All right, so as we take a look at these satellite imagery, here we can definitely see what is going on. So we've got our invest area out there. There's Dexter, pretty sheer tropical storm. Much of that convection is pretty much to the east of the center of the system. It's moving out, not a problem for anyone, as I mentioned. And then that next area uh, that we are gonna be watching over the course of the next couple of days, it may attempt to get itself together. The formation chance at the maximum was at 40%, but it's been uh, down to 30% as it's getting a little bit more unlikely that we'll see any significant development of it. But generally, within the vicinity of the northern Bahamas, going to Florida, we can see that there is some shower and thunderstorm activity for sure. And in the vicinity of the Caribbean as well, there's been some areas experiencing some afternoon showers and thunderstorms, although for many places it's been on the hot and uh, dry side for today. Looking at the rain forecast over the next day or so, we can definitely see those colorful shadings indicating some uh, more periods of heavy rain for uh, parts of Florida, the northern Bahamas. Could even see some instances of additional heavy downpours in sections of Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola going to a few spots in Central and South America as well. Also for Trinidad and Tobago, there's quite a bit of moisture in the area, so that may move in and result in some periods of heavy rain. And a lot of heavy rain can definitely trigger flooding, especially in the more vulnerable places. ABC Islands will be on the drier side, likewise for the northern, uh, lesser Antilles, uh, much of the Leeward Islands. And then heading a bit further south, all the way down to Grenada, including Barbados, there could be some periods of passing showers. Nothing crazy, though. Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, there could be a few showers around, likewise for the Cayman Islands, Turks and Caicos Islands, and southern Bahamas as well. As it relates to Invest 96L, so this is a look at the dry air map and we can see these colorful shadings and more of those oranges and reds indicate areas of a, uh, a lot more concentration or higher concentration rather of dry air. And that is one of the factors which helps to inhibit development. So we can see that the system is about to move into a lot of that. If it would be staying primarily south of that dry air, it would have a much better chance of uh, actually becoming something, although it is expected to possibly become a depression in the course of uh, over the course of the next couple of days. But models are not really showing much. They're primarily showing the system kind of struggling a bit as it moves across the tropical Atlantic. And then with that weakened area of high pressure, it's likely to stay away from the Caribbean and make a curve, uh, possibly going out to sea. We'll keep watch for that. Hopefully that happens. It's kind of best case scenario here. But a tropical wave is going to be emerging from Africa and that's going to be the one that we really want to uh, divert our focus to over the course of the next week or so. But for now, Invest 96L does have a 60% formation chance. So the chance actually increased for the system. It's been on the uh, slow, steady, slowish increase. And uh, if it goes up to 70, it would be in cold red, which means high formation chance. And the next name on the list for the season is Erin. So we'll see what happens with it. Now, as it pertains to that next potential system, here we are taking a look at our ensemble members for GFS, and then we'll also go on to Euro. There we have them for uh, 96L, showing that maybe the system will attempt to become a tropical storm and make a curve out to sea, not seeing a trend of the system move into the vicinity of the Caribbean. But these other members we see are not associated. They're to be associated with that next tropical wave that will move off of Africa. And this map goes all the way out to Saturday the 16th of the month. So that's a pretty much a week and a half from now. And as it pertains to the Euro members, we're seeing somewhat of a similar story here. 
uh, with that potential system which may head to the vicinity of the Caribbean. And we definitely see those members for the current Invest 96L moving out to sea. So there are so many possibilities on the table for that upcoming system. I mean, uh, when we're talking about something that far out, there's nothing solid. There's nothing guaranteed as to what will happen. But based on the trends of what we tend to observe in the month of August, it's when we really want to keep watch for those systems. So once the conditions are conducive, once we have a reduction in all that dry air, and we already have those very warm surface waters, and those upper level winds, once they're also conducive, we could definitely see some development take place. And who knows, maybe soon we'll have the first hurricane of the season as well. But that is why I'm here to keep you guys posted. So you definitely have some time to keep watch. And uh, I'll be keeping you updated as I normally do. So that's pretty much what I wanted to bring to your attention in today's update video. So again, just to go over it, another potential area that we want to watch it, which may make its way into the vicinity of the Caribbean. Invest 96L, the formation chance has gone up a bit for it, but it's likely to stay out to sea. There's that secondary area offshore of the United States. It will be parallel in the East Coast, not going to be much of a bother for anyone. Then there's already Dexter, which has not any troubles for land right now so that's it for today guys and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll get to you when i had the chance to do so and remember to always be weather wise